and oh, we got we got Keith now, and uh, Keithy is always isn't he in second place? This is a big game, though. This is a big game. Keith in second place, and I'm in first. So we don't want to lose this one if we can. Obviously, I mean, who wants to lose? It's not the idea, is it? And uh, we'll go. We'll go in here now. I feel I've had this kind of thing against Keith before and I'm fairly happy because I like having a pawn um, on this square um, and my way of going forwards would be this um, maybe also a pin is well worth considering and I should have possibly done this last move because he wouldn't now be able to move his knight, which which he can he can do in this position. But okay, I got I got my rook coming here, and Keith's idea, uh, very positionally founded. Okay, well he's allowed this. I'm very surprised he's allowed me to do this thing because his king does look weak. But maybe it's okay. First question, how do you how do you defend this guy? We have to come backwards. Okay. Now I want to get to his king. Is my knight ever going to do anything over there? Um, or should it be on another route? Um, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I want to get my knight to g5. So uh, looks a bit funny going this way, but I'm of course trying to get my queen also in to the action and just be very blunt with the rook here just 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 move it around so that's why i got the knight out of the way so my queen could come in and, and my rook could swing in as well okay so we're starting a, a little bit of counterplay against this one and if i go rook here it takes rook here isn't that going to be very strong but he's going to go rook here and here rook here here and he just defends takes Keith is such a good defender. I know this from experience. So I'll play this anyway, but rook g1. Yeah, he plays it immediately, clearly, clearly, clearly knowing what to do. Now, if I take, he comes forwards. And queen here takes. It's getting very messy. No, I just get my queen trapped. Here, 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 takes. Ah, strange feels like it should be really good for me but it's not necessarily the case so I need to get more pieces in okay so I'm gonna go here and I don't entirely trust this one uh, my other rook somehow gets in but he's done a very clever job of, of course getting his queen to 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 the square which harasses me um, uh, and somehow I just feel a bit uncomfortable here a little bit uncomfortable in my position um, and I want to get rid of his pieces but I'm just oh my god this one I think oh no it didn't quite work for him it's pushing me back and very tense position but my I spent a lot of time trying to find the right way to play this and I don't feel I have okay I've got to just go for it now Rook h6 and knight g5 uh, seems to be at least an all-in attempt. Put the rook here so he can't move that and just dive these pieces the right way. Okay, you've seen what I'm doing, but can't I now take this? I'm going to take it quickly. And have I fallen into a trap? Who's trapping who in this position? takes my queen I take his queen if he takes my knight I take his rook and I'm taking here if he moves his queen so someone's tricked someone uh, the idea of his is my queen goes here bishop g4 and he wins my knight but this is a very useful uh, what we call intermezzo move the mid the move in the middle uh, of a combination and he goes for the he goes for the ending and now I just want to play g6 so you can't use those pieces on that area of the board. And 
he can't do that now and I'm pawn up but it's down on the clock and okay so I get a very nice square don't want to allow his knight to come out um, if his knight comes out some chances he'd probably bring it this way um, and he's trying everything uh, shit, I'm not playing this well am I I'm allowing allowing these but now his king could be also in trouble no god what what is this what is this <laughs> should be winning but he's he's so tricky and he's finding ways to uh, to confuse me because I'm not sure what I'm doing here his king looks really weak but then my king does <laughs> what a weird position he'd love to move his knight but he can't because his king's in the way and I might be doing knight takes e4 also knight takes f3 as my two two main ideas here now this is idea number one because of rook coming over to uh, the g g3 square and i might now play this one and now this one which is a lovely checkmate because rook h6 is checkmate next move <sighs> oh oh that was a big game that was a big game.